Ah, the tender beauty of a one-day-old filly almost takes your breath away. She is one of the rarest breeds of horses on earth, a lipizzan. It's always exciting when the new life comes into the world. Gabby Herman has watched this miracle unfold time and time again. It never gets old. The lipizzan has been in, in my family for 300 years. Uh, one of my ancestors, he was a knight, and over the years, the family has always perpetuated the breed. The next generation, Gabby's three-year-old cousin, Bianca Herman, getting her first look at the next generation of Lipizzans. That's my baby girl. Sounds like love at first sight. Lipizzans are born black, brown, or bay-colored most eventually turn white. She'll go through a color process of going white. It takes about seven to 10 years. The mama didn't change, mama stays, stayed her color. A bay uh, lipizzan in the barn is considered good luck because they're rare. The filly's father is the spectacular stallion, Yuri. At age 29, a ripe old age for most horses, Yuri is still performing in and out of the ring. Bianca doesn't own a Lipizzan yet, although she's a pro with oh, her man. miniature stallion named Major Minor. Is it clean? Okay. Gabby hopes that Bianca will someday follow in her footsteps as head of the family business. She knows each horse, she knows their personalities. She comes in here in the morning, helps us clean the barn. That little girl, it's, it's okay. in her. Their 200-acre farm in Mayaca City is home to 30 horses, a dozen or so Herman relatives, several apprentices, plenty of mentors for Bianca. Hoch! 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 Working with these high-flying, high-spirited stallions takes unbridled skill and bravery. Good boy! Another of Bianca's cousins, Carmen Herman Stiles, also epitomizes the depth of passion needed. All right. I'm 41. I've been with them my whole life. And there's still times when they bring me to tears. The kindness that these stallions have is just incredible. Hop. Bra. These magnificent maneuvers are called airs above the ground, a talent Bra. that sets the Lipizzans apart Bra. from other breeds. Bra. During the Middle Ages, they were the mightiest of war horses, so valuable only generals were allowed to ride them into battle. Their leaping kicks inflicted deadly blows upon ground soldiers. When I'm on the end of the lines with him, we have taught him to become a weapon, a lethal weapon. And when he is doing his capriole, his intent is to kick me. But as aggressive as he can be, as soon as I call him to me, you can see his whole demeanor change from you know, one hand being a killer to the other hand being this kind, gentle soul. Good boy, good boy. Come on. Hey, Bubba. I if it seems that all these performing Hermans are females, well, it's That's true. It's an all woman's team. And we always get asked why. Well, it's genetics. The Hermans had mostly girls. Legacy. Gabby remembers riding a horse before she was old enough to walk. I got all my training from my grandfather. He was a old world disciplinarian. I cannot do it was not in his vocabulary. Gabby's grandfather and father, both named Ottomar Herman, were part of a risky Lipizzan rescue during World War II. The horses had been captured by the Germans. Under orders from former Olympic rider U.S. General George S. Patton, the Army's 2nd Cavalry saved the Lipizzans, possibly from extinction. The family had the plight of sneaking their horses out with that group and coming across. And they had heard, you know, and Patton had always said, you know, these horses need to be exposed. And then the Herman family decided to bring them to the U.S. Gabby's father was the heart and soul of his family and his beloved Lipizzans. When he died shortly after the show in 2004, Gabby became the heir apparent to run the ranch. 
I'll have to be honest, there was a moment where I was a little overwhelmed. The financial end scared me. Skyrocketing costs, especially for fuel, are forcing Gabby to cut back on the traveling show, which made the Lipizzans famous in the U.S. Maybe we were going to have to let it go, but then I go and look at those boys, and who's going to be the first one to go? Just, I, I couldn't do it. The Hermans are determined to keep the traditions of the past a family tradition. 